Hey everyone, welcome back to Control. First of all, thank you so much for a great first episode. Uh, it did super well, so I'm re very excited to make this into a series. I think it'll uh, it'll keep doing well, so thank you so much for the enthusiasm for the first episode. Um, first episode, we got the hotline and we got the floppy to that lets us use telekinesis. That's what it is, right? I think so. Anyway, that's uh, the last thing I did and then I went back to the boardroom talked to whatever her name is, blonde lady, who looks very fascinated with me. And um, next thing we were gonna do was... what exactly? We we're trying to open up the building to reach other sections. I think that's where we are right now. So let's pick it up from there. Um, I took some of you guys' advice, actually, first off, and I turned on the DLSS that you mentioned. I don't know really what it does. I think it it lowers the, d the render resolution uh, and I turned on vsync just in case um, so we're gonna have to see if that maybe improves performance um, also I booted up the game and it did put me here luckily but um, blunt lady whatever her name is I completely forgot <laughs> me obviously you never read the p6 data <laughs> um, I think she heard an elevator, so maybe I should start there. Ati. Okay. Maintenance. I'm coming. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Is he? Also, chat. Uh, chat. <laughs> YouTube comments, people said that he was speaking Finnish. And he actually responded to one of my thoughts. I completely missed it. Search for a way into the, the maintenance, maintenance sector. sector. Is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. So how do we... Maybe um... it was you who got me into the office house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. That's what people said, yeah. Is Ati guiding me too? I missed that though. Okay. We... The audio was out of sync, so... Now it should be good. Much better. Okay. Locked. Guess I'll go here. I think it runs a little better now, yeah. Hmm. Wait. There's no ladder or stairs leading to that. Weird. I have a gun, right? Yep. I have many things. I am the director. Oh, clearance level two. Burp. Can't I break the glass though, people said? Eh, let me in. Get out of my way. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck your clearance. I'm the director, bitch. What's that? I will read this. Uh, filter with unread. Yeah. Book club, Lopez. Unless you review by Lopez. These days, most YA novels, young adult novels, intertwine the coming of age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance, unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called The Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories, and along the way, they just have to fall in love, of course. I like how we never got to know if the fix was actually was ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for YA. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go and save the world. She knows this is the end for her and that the job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone and surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. I give this book 3 out of 5. Feel most of the teenage, teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it to my brother's kids. Hmm. Sounds like something I would like, honestly. What is it? Ritual impulse. Oh yeah, these were crafting materials, people said. People have been so helpful in the comments. Thank you so much. Whoops. Ray, I forgot I have a melee! 
<laughs> I accidentally did that. I did that because... Skyrim. I tried to jump the with Y. Override is right there in the control room. How do we get there? These look like special boys. I'm ready. <laughs> Sucks to be you, dude. <laughs> Ooh. I think I got him. Okay, he's a shield thing, so... I think we can break that. And then shoot him. Oh god, more. Much more. Many more. Many dudes. I missed. Oh god. Out of my way! I need to hide. Okay, he has a shield again, and a shotgun, actually. But nothing like a brick of concrete to the face. Oh, hey! It's a thingy! Uh, cleanse. <sighs> so cool. Also, look at that butt. Just saying. Nice. Okay, that went pretty well, right? I think that was okay. Was there anything downstairs that I skipped? Oh no. I thought I was being- well, I was sure I missed something, but still people were like, yeah, actually if you go here, there's this and this, if you go here, there's this and this. I was like, wow. You always miss even more than you think. Janitor's office is this way. I think there's gonna be- oh, more dudes, yep. Uh, is there anything explosive here? This looks good. I like this. Hiya! <laughs> and whoosh! Um... Ooh, ooh. Oh god! What did I do? Oh, I almost killed myself. I don't- I don't know what I picked up. It really hurt, that's for sure. Oh. And I'm dead. Well, that was my bad. I just had a point, at least. Hello! I'm ready! Hi! <laughs> Still funny. Oh yes, block of concrete. Bring it. Ah, ooh. I do it, did it again, I blew up myself. Oh, I need to get their, their health actually. There we go. Stop! Um, I'm downstairs now. It's so cool to do. I love it. Okay, I'm doing a little bit better. Grab all this health. Okay, now I'm doing great. Ah! No, don't shoot the booty! Dudes! Have a rock! And skadoosh! This is very satisfying. <laughs> I love it. Also, sorry about the weak audio. Um, it might have sounded a little flat in the first episode. Um, I didn't realize I had... Well, for one, I have two computers. The one I'm playing the game on and the one that's recording. And not only was it set to lower on the one computer that's recording, but also wi Windows on the other computer decided to just for no reason turn the audio down to 20%. So it was so low I had to boost it a lot. But because it recorded in a really low volume, it ends up sounding a little bit flat. But this time, great sourcing. I checked, double checked everything. What's that? Scatter projectile choke. Weapon mod. Hmm. Coolio. 
clearance level four. I only have one, I think. What's that to the left? This looks bright and special. See something I can blow up? Oh, I've been here. Oh, it's all connected. Well, what do you know? Let's go to the back here. Hello, janitor! What's down that way? This way? You should point. That would really help me out. A merry chase. That's a secondary mission? Strange light in the break room. Oh, Jesus! Holy shit, what? Scared the crap out of me. Chait, cleanse the merry-go-round horse Ugh. object of power. This place makes me nauseous. Really? An object of power. It's a horse. How do you think it got down here? Can you like ride it? That would be cool. A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Stroke the horse. What is it? B to evade. Oh god. Okay. Nice! Figured it out! Ah, didn't make it. Nice. That's awesome. Air evade. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. So what do I do? Also, what the fuck, baby? What the fuck are you doing? Uh huh. Hmm. Oh shit. Oh, where to put me? Where are we? Okay. What's the horse friend for? Aravade? Let's see the Hess keep up with me now. Whee! Oh, it costs stamina too. That makes sense. It looks very cool. <gasps> Ooh, that's far. Oh, okay. She got it. This is bright light. Excuse me. Okay, darkness. This is what I like. I hate that sunlight. Hey, nice. That was cool. Dodge efficiency. Can I do no, I can still only do one. Energy recovery speed plus 16. Dodge efficiency evade energy cost minus 11. Yeah, let's do that. Wait a minute. Why is everything red? Special remnant. New mission, case files, merry-go-round horse. There it is. Object should be kept in a confined space when unbound. Fiberglass horse once used as a seat for a merry-go-round ride. Pole is still connected to the object. Object is capable of moving short distances at high speeds. Can be quite dangerous when something its path. Object is currently bound. The object was discovered at the site of an abandoned amusement park. Local authorities reported that the rides would move on their own. That's so cool. Wait, they would be chased out. When these rumors reached the bureau, agents were dispatched, dispatched to investigate. Three locals were found dead at the scene. The object, object attacked an agent. Huh. Cool. Anything else here? No. Oh my god, I keep pressing L1 now to run as well because of Skyrim. Uh, 
This episode is actually going up before Skyrim. So yeah, Skyrim's coming back. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I streamed it um, last Friday. Um, so it's not back regularly just yet, but as long as people keep voting for it on Twitch, um, then uh, Skyrim will be keeping be keeping played. He has a poster of himself on the wall, on the door. <laughs> hey, there he is. Hello, Ati. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. <laughs> Yippee. It in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. He's really important, isn't he? Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. I feel like there's going to be a twist where he's Only like here seems to the director that. or something. Yeah, hi. In disguise. Auntie, look. We need to get the lockdown. The previous lifted. director. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. Or he is a. Just around the corner. He's a, an object but himself. First, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours chop. Something chop. tells me it's going to be more than that. Aha, aha, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Mm -hmm. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm not going to swear out that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Perkele. The pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a part in Sahara. A heart in Sahara, Perkele. I'm trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. Oh, don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. Thanks. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The works on the task board here. You can do later when you have time. Ah. Oh. Right. I get a little bored for side quests. Cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it, and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door Thanks. in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. What a mess. Yep. Burn the trash. Burn the dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer. Not into a <laughs> Huh. Is this the way back? Threshold remnant. Launch efficiency mod. Yeah, we've been here. Okay. Yeah, and that's where we got horsey. Okay, cool. It's just a shortcut. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. Okay. So you can then you get a prompt to watch North the full North hotline if you want. Before me. The full entry. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. Northmore was all about power. 
a man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more, until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end, contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Hmm. <laughs> Here's to you, Northmore. Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Um. Hello? Oh, what was that? The end was weird. This is the one we just saw, right? Yeah. There we go. Back in motion. Big eyes. Missy strikey face. Document. Must read. Arish. Arish? Escaped OOP. Object of Power escaped the Panopticon a couple weeks ago and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. If anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. I got it! Okay, cool. I got that one. Very interesting that people noted that this game is inspired by SCP because once the people said it, I was like, oh yeah, it makes a lot of sense. It's like this company building with stuff that they keep under control and they have these reports on it. Wow. So cool, man. So are those people on my site? Looks like it. Are you new? Go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge here. Arish? Where are you at? Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Actually, I'm the new director, baby. We all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. Okay. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. The Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. Ah, uh, he knows more Tower. than... He smelled like a bar mat. He let people he know. about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Mm -hmm. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, yeah, he was preparing. I'm playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Hmm. Listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Hmm. He Try seems a nice that. dude. Okay, fix the coolant pumps, fix the energy converters. What's your read on all this? Okay. Oh, oops. Security matters. Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is about to is asking about Ati, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. 
Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could better deal with his odd habits, but yes, it's still very much classified matter. Also, I saw you report about the quarry worker who wandered into the foundation. Detained him, detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on the next steps. Cheers. In case you had noticed, something's up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. Hmm. my reflection. I was like, who's that? <laughs> who's that beautiful lady? Oh, it's me. Okay, dudes. Keep up the good work. Oh. Hey, nice. Let's start with this. I love when it's not, like, contaminated. She's just like, whoosh, done. And then when it is, she's like, get out the fuck out of here! <laughs> I exercise you! Oh, this is so cool. Is someone floating up there? Yeah. So, they have parts under control, but not everything. Let's see. Okay, so coolant pumps and energy converters. Oops. Coolant pumps are to the left, energy converters are to the right. I say always go left, so let's start here. Do I have something flammable? that I can grab. I don't see you just yet out there. And I'm ready! Who wants to come say hi? No oh god, what are you? I almost killed myself. Uh, what was that? <laughs> I dropped a little bit of health. Oh god! Do they have a lot of le legs? Oh, are they explosive? Oh, that's explosive. What the fuck are you? Yeah, they're definitely explosive. Oh god. Okay, don't let them close. They explode in your face. Need more flammable shit. There it is. Hiya! Have fun, guys. Can I get some health from you guys? Yeah. Much better. Feel much better. Those are cool. I think it was maybe their clothes or something hanging from them, but it made it made it look like it had, they had extra limbs. Creepy shit. That was cool. Give me all the health, please. <laughs> I fucked up. Okay. Coolant pumps. Left. Power cut. Replace the parts. How do I just drop it? Can I? I don't know how. Do I need to bring this somewhere? He said replace the part. Oh. Ah. Okay, now let me grab the thing I threw earlier. There we go. Hello, boys! Did I kill him? <laughs> that one. Anything else? Ooh. You blew up something next to me. Where is he? Oops. Press the wrong button again. Oh god. Oh god. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Shit. I didn't see them coming. Don't come near me. Anyone else? 
Are we good? Huh. Dude. You scared the crap out of me. Quick, let's do this. Whew. Okay. I think uh, it runs better today. I think whatever setting you guys recommended has worked. Okay. Here we go. Good, good, good. Oh, I'm full health again. Nice. So, coolant pumps are that way. So, naturally, I'm going to the furnace chamber. Oh, that's radioactive. It's just... Just sitting there. Nothing wrong with it. My name is Dr. Pierce. Lead researcher of the parakinesiology department. The what now? I believe I've discovered a code omega paranatural entity residing within the bureau itself. Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. What? It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. <laughs> Did you hear that? No. It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. It's Lady's Cuckoo. Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? People. I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. <gasps> Lady! Should we have a look? Oh, very bright. Looks like there's just garbage in it. Creepy. How's she, she feeding it people? You think? Thought I heard something slimy. I don't like those barrels. Whoa. What's up there? Can I get there? Hmm. Maybe we come out of it this later. Maybe I'm looking at stuff out of order, like I usually do. Okay. Let's go to the coolant pumps. They're in the cave? Wow. I don't like that sound. We're gonna find out what it is. Ooh, special. Oh shit! <clears throat> Good tip. Someone said that you can just, um, she'll just grab whatever concrete she can find or rock. So you can just, just hold it and she'll grab anything. Hold your power button, basically. Okay, cool pumps. Okay, so Ati is talking to us in our thoughts, or was he just on the intercom? <laughs> oh, this is one of those power things again, right? There's one up there as well. Bunch of people up here. I think I'm about to get attacked. Now where do you want this? I see a bunch of them actually. Well, is 
is very clever. He's trying to sneak in. He got him caught with his hand in the Ooh, I'm almost dead. Jesus. Have a broom. Ugh, I was trying to hit it. Okay, I should start with the ones on the right first. They're heavy to aim at. When you're right-handed. Ah, uh, you reset, okay. To the bottom right. And flee! <laughs> Need to recover? Yeah. There we go. That should be it. What the hell is that? Oh, what? The most disgusting thing I've ever seen. What's happening? Is it retreating? Oh yeah, it is. It's going. Oh. It's a big boy. Oh, hey. How do I get to that one? Okay, it looks like he's not retreating any further. Let's see if we can find a way around to it. Oh, yep. I don't think I got anything. There we go. Don't do it! Don't hurt me! Okay, I think I need to do one more. Two more. Hiya! Retreat! You shall not pass! Oh. I wanted to be big girl, but... Hmm. Okay. Ah, jeez. Okay. The chest should be around here. Ah! Yeah! What is it? Ritual impulse material. I guess I can probably just shoot it as well. Actually, that's way easier. There you go.
Oh, did we... I think we attacked it from all sides, so now it's like fully retreating. I shot him in his sensitive bitsies. He didn't like that. Um. We need to hurry. <laughs> okay, so that was it, I think. Now I go back, maybe? Okay. So cool. Oh, it's a big hole there. Maybe I should look upstairs? I hear people. Oh, I can go further up. Hello! It's me! Director. Clog complaint. Gross blockage down in the water system is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? Why the hell does Ati keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like it can understand him. Of course he acts like we can understand him too. Guess he's that's get guess that's just his brand of crazy. I'm gonna try out a new drain cleaner extreme strength. <laughs> uh Furnace research. My name is Dr. Oh, yeah. Okay. His charged agent. Oh, yeah. So does he... Yeah, he doesn't have any extra limbs. It just looks weird because they're all dangling down. Huh. Example examples of extreme physical deformation, deformation resulting from his corruption. Um... Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused hiss resonance, so dense that it acts as a physical force. They detonate. Cool. That's awesome. Why is the physiology of the hiss charge so dr dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions and no answers. Okay. Can't go in there. That's what I need to do. Oh, way back is closed. Okay. Oh god. Huh. Hi. Let's see. Probably shouldn't be in the open. Nice. Nice. Okay. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Explosives! Let's go! Hiya! He's not dead. Oh. Did he die? <laughs> almost killed me. Oh shit! I'm almost dead. I have a box! Don't come near me! Wait, where'd he go? Can't see. Mom's dead. Ooh, that was good aim. Lucky break. Now who wants a crate? Where'd he go? Did he fall down as well? I got some health. There. Gave me the health. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, much better. Now one dude down. Does that hurt me? I think it does. Nice. I keep getting achievements. Oh, a hundred and one of a thousand. You don't have to update me on every kill that I make. 
Maybe she turned it off for the next episode. Okay. So... I put one here. And then... Where is the rest? There's one in the back here, I think? Yes. Am I gonna get attacked again, or are we good? And I think the last one is the one I was looking at up here. There. There go the pipes. Nothing more satisfying. Oh, dudes though. Ooh. Oh, there's one behind me. There we go. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's very annoying. Give me a sec while I turn... Oh, wait, let me fight. There's still more enemies. Let me finish that first. I wonder if I, like dodge right as I hit the ground. Yeah, then I won't have fall damage. Nice. I think that did it. Whoa, red. Big color. Evil. Oh, I should get the health. So, can I go back now? No. I need to... Oh god! Oh, what are you? Trooper second class. Siri, shut up! Oh, he's big! He's really big! Oh god, he's really big. Oh, why am I just hurt? Where is he? He's dropping a lot of health. I should go collect that. Okay, good. Ooh, I'm proud of that strat. That was good. Okay. <laughs> I got this baby. Have a box, my dude. Oh shit. Have a box. Yeah. Awesome. I did it. Who was that? Unread. His trooper. Troopers are meant to be the first agents to enter unknown Oz thresholds or any other paranatural hazardous situation. Heavily armored and heavily armed in preparation for the worst. As a result of their role, his troopers have access to the heaviest armor and weaponry from the Bureau's armory, including military grade chain guns and grenade launchers. Fuck! His resonance surrounding their entities is dense enough to stop bullets. Telekinetically talented enemy grenades can be a welcome source of ammunition. Hm. Okay. Beep. That was awesome. That was a cool fight. Ooh, look at those people! So cool. Okay, what's next?
Oh, oh, dudes. Didn't even realize. How? Oh, God. Oh, tracked me. Jesus. Is he on my side? Oh, she is. Nice. Oh, that one isn't. Give me the health. Thank you. Fuck you, dude. Oh, sorry. Did I just fuck up a friend or an enemy? Oh, enemy. Oh, he's strong. Oh, I miss. That one hit. She's almost dead. Explode. Thank you. Oh, ho, ho. big explosions. He's strong. Okay. Look at all the health here. Jesus Christ. There was a lot of shit going on. Aw, that lady didn't make it. Is he still in there? Dude, I did it. I did one of the two things. Do you like it? When the are you proud? When the coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. Hiss. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which... Is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Hmm. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? Hmm. <laughs> what do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. Hmm. I'm proud to work with them. No. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? It's a it's power a plant. Salvador told me, <laughs> but I know it generates all the electricity for the bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one: keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two: don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three: uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. <laughs> Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh yeah, it's all part of the job. Yeah. What service weapon. Service weapon. Not much. What's that? Thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, you know, I did see pictures of it once, though, and... Uh, Wait, the gun I have? It looks different to that thing. Oh. That you monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Hmm. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Uh -huh. Dude has got some crazy stories. Crazy. So probably else around here. You can make sense of what he's saying. Huh. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned. You know? Hmm. Cool. I should be going. Try to stay Price. alive. You got a lockdown to lift. Okay, so... Only the energy converters are left right now. So this way. Also, 
Where is the other quest? I say quest, mission? Burn the trash. Where is that? Oh, it was past the coolant pumps. Oh, I can actually travel there. Maybe we should do a little, a little side quest. Um, where did I? Oh, here. Perfect. Abilities? Wait, what? Oh, I have eight. So I can unlock these. 10% health. Oh, nice. 10% energy. Oh shit, I only now discovered this. 10% the melee damage. Additional slot, nice. Launch damage, cool. Yeah, I do that a lot. I should do 50%, nice. Uh, melee, I don't use energy, health. Oh, I can't use it. Oh, it costs three. These all cost three. Oh, this one costs two. Launch explosives. Grenades and rockets back at enemies. Yes, please. Cool. So I can grab them from the air. Ah, so that's where you do that. Astral constructs. What is this? Upgrade grip. Construct spin. Can't do that. Oh, materials. I need two more ritual impulse for this. Unlock the second mod slot and increase base weapon damage. Spin as a generous magazine high rate of fire. Best used in control bursts. Shatter has a high stopping power with a shatter shot. Devastates groups of enemies. I would like this one, so I'll wait a little bit on that. Weapon mods. Uh, construct a random weapon mod common. Huh, so you just get a random thing? Personal mods. Huh. Upgrade? Enable higher tier mods. So now we have level 2. Interesting. I don't know what the countermeasures is. But for now let's fast travel. I want to go to this one. Yeah, what is that? This worries me. You lose 10% of your source every time you die. Okay, so it's right behind me. Oh, the furnished chamber. We've been there. Oh, that was where the quest was? Burn the trash around the furnace. So, does it want to... I crash. Did Atini barrels full of hazardous but Seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal. Nope. That's what Hattie wants. That's what Hattie gets! Ah, okay, so that's what we're gonna burn. That's what they're for. That's quite some trash. <laughs> I love the sound it makes when it whooshes to you. Hey, yeah. Did I make it? Yep. Okay, which one of these barrels is floating or glowing? This one. One more. Okay. Two ability points. Nice. Uh, I wonder how many that gives me then. Wait, that was it? That was the whole quest? Seriously? That was quite easy. <laughs> Back to this one. Uh, oh, new abilities? No, just two points. I need three is the next minimum. Oh, these are two actually. 50% la to launch damage. Okay. Launch basic enemies when their health is low. Ooh, that's fun. But more damage for now. It matches my playstyle. Okay, so... We should just go back to here. Okay, I just went from here because... Oh, there's an enemy back there. 
so it's probably easier. I couldn't find my way around the other way. There we go. Anyone else? <laughs> Man, the upgrade to the 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 telekinesis da what happened? Telekinetic damage is great. Oh, there's a dude up there. Oh, hey guy. You're just a regular enemy now? Could I tried. There you go. Coast clear? Okay. Um, Central maintenance energy converters. There we go. That way. Now we're in the right direction. In the right area. Hello, dudes. Hiya! Huh? God damn it, these fucking doors. Go! <laughs> there we go. Nice. Harkin? I'm on it, dude. So let me get this shortcut. Oh yeah, I forgot. I should... See if I can undo the... Achievement updates. I think that's my settings, though. Okay, I couldn't figure out where to disable notifications. Oh, another one of these rooms. I don't know what to do with this, though. I don't know where to aim this. Yeah, I just know this shit's hurt. This shit hurts. Maybe later I find something I can do with that. Uh, wait, but is that a... Is that it then? Wants me to go here? Oh, it needs an energy box. Not one of those. Nope. This boy. Hiya! Gives me Death Space vibes. Fix it before the old trick bats inside the plant is a shit fit. Man, upgrading the oh Upgrading the telekinesis it's such a hard word for me. Damage was a great idea. <laughs> uh, I need a QB. QB! There you go. Okay, do we need multiple cubes? Yes. Thought I heard someone. No? Just me? Nope. There he is. Okay, let's go get another cube. That's not what I wanted. Oh, shelter. Book. What is it? What do you got? Ooh, explosives, radio. Are these little beds? No. Ah, one sec. Just doing a little thing. Okay. Okay. Now I get the cube. Come with me, my little power friend. There you go. 
Oh, I almost fell off. Um, do you think there's another one higher up? Yeah. You want a battery to the face? <laughs> oh, I hit him on the way in. Is that it? Oh, director, director, directorial override. Okay. Um, is there anything I skipped? I guess we go to the control room. Hello, director here. Upcoming game reminder. Fun. Hazardous 20 bucks. Arish still on a fucking winning streak. Thompson suspended for a game because of the shady dealing incident. Gaio, you 60. Brought beers last time, so it's Hepson Stahl's turn. Fun. Seems like they're a bunch of good, good working buddies. Okay, this seems like a boss. Oh my god, I'm fucking them up! And I'm missing everything! <laughs> but no matter! I have the power of telekinesis! Oh, I'm a dum dum. There we go. Oh. There we go. Oh, nice. Here he goes! Yeah! Cleanse, baby! There we go! Nice! Oh. Forces <laughs> contain a lockdown. A lockdown. It would only be lifted by a directorial override. Mm-hmm. This is what we came here to do. I hope you guys don't mind me looking at all of these. I so like seeing the full picture. The, director, the responsibility, the privilege <sighs> to steer the bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people, to protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the Director's life. There's no room for anything else. Hmm. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach, and the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me. And me alone. <laughs> okay. Cool story, bruh. Lift the internal lockdown using the override. Yes. I'm on it. I just don't really know where to go. Control room. Oops, I keep pressing... <laughs> I keep pressing B to exit the map. And it doesn't work. That's not how it's intended. It's just a whole bunch of me getting lost when I try to go anywhere. What's this? Yes? Is that the override? Oh, 
Oh, big tree. Oh, what is this? Did they just? Oh, That's Emily. It. That was Other her name. Should be open now. I, I thought I had to be. I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. I am so confused each other. about the location. Okay, get me back to Central Executive. New surface weapon forms and upgrades are available to construct in the ast astral constructs menu with control points. Yeah. So is it like, is it the main gun that transforms into a shotgun? Let's see. It's like this is a shotgun. Did I do it? <laughs> I have no idea. Should I try one of these? Energy boost. I need an astral blip. Dodge efficiency. Okay, let me actually look. Oh, oh no, I don't have a new outfit yet, do I? Uh, how does this work again? Okay, so now I have these two. How do I switch between the two? Um, damage boost. Damage against enemy armor. That's nice. Projectile spread. This is a level 2 one, so that must be good. Um, I don't really get headshots anymore, so... Which one should I damage 15? Maybe. Rate of fire is already crazy quick. Let's do this. And then we have this here. These are all the new ones. Evade cost minus 10. Evade energy cost minus 7. Are these all new? Energy boost. Health recovery per element pickup. 28. Oh, so this... Oh, that's a good one. I think. And then this is a level 2 one as well. Launch energy cost 10. Hmm. Okay, I think this is good. Let's talk to Emily. They're saying Trench was shot dead. The situation is getting worse. I saw Trench and Darling arguing a couple weeks ago. Trench was furious. You don't think Darling... Don't be stupid. What would the Bureau's golden child have to gain from killing the boss? Hmm. <laughs> Darling is the golden child. Oh, also, what fucking blew my mind. Someone said that Dr. Darling is O'Hara from Robin Hood Men in Tights, and it actually is, and he's the voice actor for Alan Wake. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesse, you made it, and you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Let's do it. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't. I mean, you're the director now. Honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. Oh, we managed to turn me. the projector off. <laughs> the player. <laughs> the bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. 
Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. But then Dylan has to be around here, right? I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Yeah, but she doesn't know Only of it. Dylan. I've never heard of it. But Interesting. Here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. <laughs> She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. As in a guiding star. Hmm. <laughs> Did Polaris know about the hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Huh. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonances. What if the hiss is Dylan? All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the hiss first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. <gasps> Level three! Nice. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. That was a cool shot. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, what if that's Dylan? I will come calling. <laughs> Don't tell me, of course. But ooh, four ability points. Um, do you think we have new stuff to talk about? God damn, I have a lot of things. Find Marshall, and then there's the something else. But Hi, Jesse. Let's see, if we have. I think these are all already talked about, right? What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. This is new information to me, I think. Yeah, okay. So let's go through it all. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? He's usually in his office in research, or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few, all around the Bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Hmm. Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought up a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. 
Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? Wow. It's true. I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. It was a what? tiger shark. Darling's pet research project. Oh my god. I forget what he was researching. <laughs> How do people work here? That's awesome. Well, not for the people in the accident, but holy shit. You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the bureau, including the science, is without precedent. Hmm. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Well, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Hmm. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, I mean, you mean physically? Uh, no, not that I've ever heard of. That's what I'm doing. Why? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. <laughs> Let's hold off on the tests until later, okay? Fun. Okay. She's I cute. Just, wow. I, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. Cool. Okay, that was all of it. See you soon. Be careful out there. It's hard to see if it's new options or not with how, how small the difference is between it getting grayed out. Okay, I think it's saved. Cool. Um, so we had two new quests. Um, the old boys club, find Marshall, but also go into the NSC energy converters again. Major targets. What What is that exactly? What does it mean? It's not really much of a description. Major targets. 15 minutes. Is that like if I get to it in the next 15 minutes, I get like a bonus maybe? I'll it just saved, so I'll just end the game. So let me know in the comments if that's the case, and then I'll maybe get to that first. And I got this. Launch energy co energy cost minus seven. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I also don't know how to equip this weapon form, but I'm sure the game will explain it to me later. Um, I think I think that's it. Oh, let's um actually we have four points so we can upgrade something. Brings up a lot of new questions. Um let's do one of these, a three pointer. Twenty health, energy, or melee damage. Melee damage I really don't prioritize. Uh, what I've been what I've been mentioned yeah, seeing most is like I either almost die or I run out of energy, but there's like a good two, three uses, four maybe. So maybe more health first. Okay. Um, and then we wait. We do more quests. Are they communicating? Cool. Coordinating? What about the so does that defense? save again? I'm not sure, but it auto saves so often. Like if I have to redo that, that's no big deal. Um, so that was it. That was another episode of Control. I'm really, really into it. It's so fun to record. Um, I hope everyone is still interested as well. And I hope I don't miss too much, especially like side quest stuff. I think, I think that kind of stuff, like learning how to evade is hard to miss. Um, but let me know if there's something like really cool that I've overlooked. Um, because I, I don't mind going out of my way to find it. Uh, it's been really fun. Thank you so oh sorry thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to record more usually two days in between um uh, with some other series i'm working on so one episode every two three days um so it's a little bit slow but nice and regular so see you guys soon with another episode and thank you for watching <laughs>